Hello everybody, it's me Sam here from Rupert Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to use and install the Minecraft Forge client on a Linux distribution. So firstly, what is Forge? Well, for those of you that don't know, Forge is an API that allows modders to create mods to be used both client side and on the server. Thus, this allows modders to create mods which can be used on servers that introduce new blocks, tools and other custom code that was not achievable by using Bucket and the vanilla client alone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install this client. Um, so before we actually install the Forge client, we need to ensure that we have a Minecraft uh, client installed. And it's always a good idea to get a fresh new Minecraft um, instance up before we install Forge, just so the install process works. So go to minecraft.net slash download. There's a Minecraft trial there. And we're just going to run the, uh, open up the terminal here. So right click, open the terminal. And then we're going to type in Java hyphen jar minecraft.jar and this will start up the minecraft launcher um, so if you haven't got it installed already it's always a good idea just to um, load up the menu just once and sign in here right so I've installed the minecraft client signed in and I've loaded up uh, a 1.8 version so I can now get ready to, uh, to install my forge client so let's quit that and we'll just close this terminal down. So the first thing we want to do is go to files.minecraftforge.net and now we're going to select the version uh, of Minecraft we want to install it for. So I just downloaded 1.8.7 so I'm going to click 1.8 and now you can either download the latest uh, Forge API or the recommended. In this tutorial I'm going to download the uh, recommended um, and this is because the latest of the latest code and may have some problems and is not as stable as the recommended build. So I'm going to be installing the recommended build. So I'm going to click this installer here, which will take me to a, an ad page, which will then install, uh, download the .jar file. I've already done that, so that's on my desktop here. And we're going to do a very similar thing. We're going to open up the terminal in our desktop and type java hyphen jar forge, uh, and then I, I hit tab to fill out the rest of the line. Um, but that will be whatever version you just downloaded. So I'm going to hit enter. And you'll get given a choice of three options, install client, install server, or extract. And this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to install the client. So click install client and hit OK. And now it will download the necessary libraries and install anything that um, the Forge API needs to do. So one thing to note with the, the Forge client is that you shouldn't install any mod loader because this includes the Forge mod loader, which is, um, well, makes the other mod loaders obsolete. So once that's installed, you should see the message successfully installed client profile Forge for the version and your version and got any necessary libraries. So once that's done, that's great. So now what we're going to do is load up Minecraft and hopefully we should see that Forge has been installed. So I've just loaded up my Minecraft launcher and hopefully in your bottom left you should see a new profile called Forge. Now this will go based on your uh, current user which is Samka which I've just signed in with. Uh, and now it will hit, hit play. It will download any uh, missing jar files that we need which hopefully we've already downloaded because we just installed it. And it should load up with the Forge client. So we'll just give that a few more seconds. Uh, one thing to note is when you install the mods, which I'll show you in a, another video, um, these go in the home.minecraft and then there's a folder called mods which you can place your mods in. So this will be created once you've loaded up your Forge client. So you can see here it's just loading all the necessary mods and stuff and the thing you can see in the bottom left here, Forge mod loader version 8 uh, Minecraft Forge 11 point thing. It tells you the free mods loaded, free mods active. And if you click on this button here, mods, you can see all the mods that are installed. So of course, these are just the three default mods, Minecraft Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader, and Minecraft Forge. And if you wanted to add more, which I'll show you in another tutorial, you would just add them to the mods folder here. And there we have it. Forge has been installed and we can now uh, place mods on our Minecraft client and use them in game. So if you found this tutorial helpful, feel free to like and subscribe and check out my future videos on how to install the Forge server on Linux and how to install Forge on Windows. Until next time, however, this is Sam here from Whoop Gaming, 
Signing out.